Hello, this is a quick tutorial in English for us to understand the, the first steps at the Heco drum for you who got it, the last batch. So let's select first of all the pattern. So let's go to the pattern two, which is empty. Should be empty, but now it is empty. Okay. Let me go track, close hi hat. Select the, the steps we want, the closed hi-hat. Now we go to track two, open hi-hat. Track three, the kick. Track four, the snare. Track five, the clap. Track six, high percussion. Track seven, low percussion. Um, track eight, stick. So we have the first one, here's the rate. Now we're gonna copy, we have this in pattern two. Let's copy to the pattern three here. Function, pattern, two to three. Okay, now we have pattern two. We have the one we just recorded, pattern three, the same one. Now let's edit the pattern three. First to have a second one, let's go track, track three. This track for the snare, let's do also a row here and track five the clap. Let's do like this and now. So let's do something like this now. Pattern two, 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 and three. Now is it is the pattern chain? You can do like sixteen steps like this to create a song or a long long pattern so we have now three parts of the pattern two and one part of the pattern three it will sound like this Can do this with all of the patterns here so this is how you copy and paste and if you want to clear a pattern you go to clear pattern and you clear pattern 3 for example now pattern 2 is okay and you go to pattern 3 it's not anymore like there and um, other other thing here you can find the manual if you go to pattern 2 you come here and you can select how many steps you want. If you want like function, function one to nine, you, you have now nine parts of the sequence. This is good if you want to like do rhythms in three, you just select like function one to 12, and now you can create like, Rhythms with three steps. But you can you can select like any, any part from like function seven to twelve. Seven seven to twelve. Okay. Like function one to sixteen. Everything goes back to the the norm. If you press right and clear, you can do the shuffle. So shuffle at five, level five, for example. Shuffle level three. Shuffle level two. 
no shuffle. So here you can put some groove. You can go really crazy. Totally out of sync stuff. Until six. Okay? Six is the is the most shuffled. Two is the one I like most. One no shuffle. Uh, so let's go to the well there's other stuff like clear copy you see the manual but I think the the most important are these ones uh, let's go to the voices now um, I'm gonna start by cutting this cut the trigger so if you do like this no trigger is coming to the no trigger are coming to the voices, the analog voices. So here I'm gonna send the trigger to the closed head, where you have just the volume. No closed head, closed head. Open head, you have the volume and you have the decay. Make it short or long. Notice if you put closed head and open head, every time the closed head hits, the open head gets uh, the cake cuts. It's because the human, when it's playing the the hi hat with the head and foot, sounds like this. Okay, the kick. The kick. You have the tune. You have like really low, low pitch, really high pitch. You have the tone, if you don't have the, the kick, like the high part of the drum, the kick drum, I have the kick. You have the decay, if you have it long or really short. And you have the level. Snare. Snare you have here, if you have the high snare, or low snare. It's not very uh, noticeable, but you will notice the difference when you have your your drum machine there. The bottom. No dirt. A lot of dirt. And here is how the dirt is coming here. Very dirty, not so much dirt. So this is the knob that makes the transistor who creates the white noise to be more or less dirty. And this is the level. The clap is the most crazy one because you have the decay can go from really short Almost not here or totally open. Why totally open? Because if you want to put the output of the clap out and have just noise, you can do crazy stuff with the filters and use it later. Uh, a compression, like a side chain compression coming from the kick, for example, and create a very crazy, dirty beat. Here's the, the, like if you have a, an 808 or a 909, it will sound like this. But here you can go crazy. High percussion, you have the decay. You can make it really long, almost like an oscillator here. And you have how to tune it. 
these two voices are the same okay the different like one you can live high and the other low but you can change it see can tune it at the same note and one you can leave long and the other very short okay they are tuned at the same way but one is long and the other one is short and the last one the stick and here you can Crazy also. It's a really um, how you can how I can say it's a really versatile percussion. You can have like really high metal metal sounds, glassy sounds, until the regular stick like the ring shot sound